Now at four, rescuers call it a miracle. The driver of this truck survived after a crash that left the semi dangling from a bridge. It happened on the Indiana toll road. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is live for us along the toll road. Marissa, that semi crashed. It caught fire. Truly, it is amazing that that driver is not seriously hurt. Yeah, truly a miracle, according to first responders that we spoke with today. They tell us this is something that happens once in a decade in their career. Now, the good news is the eastbound lanes have reopened. We've seen uh, crews working on the westbound lanes doing some bridge assessment. We've also seen some groups here in the past hour or so coming here to pull remaining smaller pieces of the truck out of the river, doing river assessment here as well. So how did this happen? This is the big question everybody's talking about. Hammond Fire says they are now looking into whether this could have been a medical emergency, a truck malfunction, or whether that truck driver hit something on the road that would invert the truck between the tollways. Now, really, the pictures tell this story. The truck hit the Calumet River Bridge just after two and caught fire. It went over the wall and somehow dropped in between the east and west lanes, hanging cab first above the river. Again, it's not clear what caused the truck, which was empty, lose control. Hammond Fire and crews thought the driver could be trapped in the cab, but after about 20 minutes or so, search and rescue crews found him, a 32-year-old man from Lansing, clinging to bridge support. See something like this this morning, it was, it was unbelievable. We searched the cab, found nobody. We started search, sweeping the, the waterway, and we, like I said, it was just uh, no luck. We wonder what happened, assumed he was ejected. Within about, like I said, 15, 20 minutes, he, we, we did hear a little bit of yelling. He was kind of clinging to one of the pillars back over there. A couple hours after the crash, the cab of the truck detached and actually fell into the river. Crews had to use a giant crane to pull both pieces of the truck onto I-90 to clear it and then eventually haul it away. Cleanup continues here into the evening hours. In a statement, UPS says they're thankful that their driver is okay. They also say that he was, again, released from the hospital this afternoon with just minor injuries. They say they will be working with law enforcement as they continue this investigation. Reporting in East Chicago, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.